I don't want to go. I don't want to go, sir. Please. Please, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. How's it going, everybody? It's Warren, and yesterday we received some really crazy news that Spider-Man, Tom Holland's Spider-Man, will no longer be in the MCU. If you are unaware of this news, Deadline.com reported that Sony is pulling Spider-Man out of the MCU because Sony and Disney slash Marvel could not come to an agreement when they were renegotiating the contract of Spider-Man in the MCU. As reported, Marvel only got 5% of whatever the Spider-Man films did, which really is not a lot considering how much Marvel was involved in making this films and considering how much Marvel did to help Spider-Man by having him in the MCU. Kevin Feige and Disney renegotiated for a 50-50 split in which Sony declined, and apparently Sony came back with a different number and Disney walked away. And today, Sony released an official statement about Disney no longer being at the head of production for the Spider-Man films moving forward. The full statement released by Sony reads, Much of today's news about Spider-Man has mischaracterized recent discussions about Kevin Feige's involvement in the franchise. We are disappointed, but respect Disney's decision not to have him continue as a lead producer of our next live-action Spider-Man film. We hope this might change in the future, but understand that the many new responsibilities that Disney has given him, including all their newly added Marvel properties, do not allow time for him to work on IP they do not own. Kevin is terrific, and we are grateful for his help and guidance and appreciate the path he has helped put us on, which we will continue. So there you have it. Yesterday, it was still kind of up in the air whether or not this was going to be the case or not moving forward with Spider-Man in the MCU. But today, this official statement from Sony has solidified that moving forward, Disney is no longer going to be involved with Spider-Man. Now, an official statement has not been released by Disney yet, but according to Sony, is that Disney doesn't really own enough of Spider-Man to continue moving forward unless they got more ownership. Disney only owns 5% of Spider-Man and they wanted to own 50% in which Sony declined. But Disney is really who made Spider-Man. Having him in the MCU is what has made him so successful as of recent times. And the fact that Spider-Man was in Avengers Endgame is definitely the reason that Spider-Man Far From Home made over a billion dollars in the box office. And now the fact is, Disney now owns a lot of new characters. After the Disney Fox deal, they now have the rights to all of the mutants, the Fantastic Four, Galactus, just so many new characters characters that they need to focus on. Characters that they own 100% of now. So the truth and the fact of the matter here is, Disney just doesn't own enough of Spider-Man to focus on him. Now again, Disney was a massive part of why Spider-Man was so successful, which is why they went to Sony requesting 50%. And since Sony declined, Disney simply had to step away and focus on the upcoming characters that they will own 100% of. So it's a sad day that Spider-Man really won't be a part of the MCU anymore, but fortunately for us, we have have a lot of new characters, a lot of new stories coming into the MCU that we do have to look forward to. So again, let all of your frustration out in the comments down below. Tell me how you feel about this, but also tell me what you look forward to in the future. Which characters are you excited to see finally show up in the MCU? And if you'd like a chance to win an Xbox One or a PS4, be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below with your favorite superhero or villain so you can enter my giveaway and stay up to date on everything relating to the MCU. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.